This is Faubacher Field, home of the Acadiana Cane Cutters. This college level minor leagueish team has been around for 10 or 11 years, depending on how you put it down in the scorebook. Actually, we're in 11, but with COVID, we're, we're claiming that it's our anniversary year, because our anniversary year kind of got chopped up last year. You think? Lafayette's Richard Chalmers has always been a lover of baseball, particularly minor league games he watched when visiting his father's relatives in New Jersey and Pennsylvania. I just like that atmosphere. I like the entertainment of the, of the game, of the presentation, and um, I just always loved it. But Chalmers and his wife Sandy knew minor league baseball in Acadiana wasn't really going to happen unless they did something. Started paying attention to uh, collegiate summer league uh, wooden bat baseball. And since 2011, the Acadiana Cane Cutters have hosted college players from all over the country, helping them refine their games and get ready for their next seasons. I think we've contributed a little bit. Uh, don't get me wrong, the kids work really hard. It's about how hard they work, but we've given them a platform, a platform to get better and a platform to grow on. Fun fact, the Chalmers also host three to five of these players throughout the June to August season. And in addition to baseball, there are other fun and out of the box elements that the cane cutters have brought to the Lafayette area. If I can entertain the kids, then that gives the dads an excuse to go. The moms want entertainment and uh, that's what we try to do. And that's what I set out to do. Games begin this week with the home opener next Tuesday at Fabacher Field. And know this, owning a club in the 16 Texas Collegiate League is not a cheap venture. Owning a team is truly about loving the sport of baseball. Our crowds are getting better, so that is, uh, that's not a goal to get rich on baseball. It's a goal, it's a goal to uh, expand on baseball. In Lafayette, Scott Brasta, KATC TV3.